coupe towards the end of last year. Um, this car draws on an awful lot of the styling of the, of the 4 Series Coupe and again, even sat next to the 2 Series Coupe, I think, hopefully you'll agree, it's a, it's a fairly stunning motor car. Um, a lot of the design strategy of the 4 Series Coupe translates over to this car, so in the same way as the Coupe had grown in length and width from its predecessor, so has the, uh, the 4 Series from the outgoing E93 convertible that it replaces. Um, it also benefits in the same way as the Coupe did replacing the old 3 Series from one of the lowest centres of gravity in any car that we produce. That translates to a very dynamic driving experience in the car. Um, again, this hits the market with three engines available. Um, the, the 28i, the 35i and the 20d. Um, with two of the engines available again for you to experience at the weekend with the 28i in the, uh, in the black car behind me. I'm the wrong way around there for a second and with the 20D in the silver car. And again, as Richie mentioned earlier, all of those are on the road immediately from launch. Um, in keeping with the 4 Series Coupe range and the similarity back from the 3 Series in the Touring, that was five trim derivatives from launch that I guess many of you will now be familiar with, with the SE, the Modern, the Sport, the Luxury, and then, uh, as in all previous ranges, the range topping M Sport. Have both of these cars that we're going to show you this evening are the M Sport derivative. Um, I guess one of the most important features of a convertible is the roof operation. Um, on the current 4 Series now, we've got a roof that will lower and raise again in 20 seconds. You can carry out this operation whilst the car's moving at speeds of up to 8 miles an hour. And then it'll disappear nicely away into the boot and gives us that beautiful sweeping line that we're, uh, that we're used to from the outgoing car. Um, a couple of nice little trick features on this car that are new for. Uh, both of these cars feature a new option, which is the, the air collar. That's a little ventilation system built into both of the front seats that will um, blow some warm air onto the neck and shoulders of the driver. Uh, and you can regulate the temperature of that through three different temperature settings. And we've also fixed one of the previous complaints about outgoing BMW hard roof convertibles. The roof mechanism, when lowered, made access to the boot very, very limited. Um, so we now have a function called load aid. You do need the boot to be open before load aid would work, though, unfortunately. Uh, now, just at the push of the button, you can pop that back. And if you do need to put something in the car, you can just lift the roof mechanism nicely out of the way, pop what you need to in the boot, and then pop him back down again. Um, we'll tidy that up in a minute. Um, both of these cars feature all of the full range of efficient dynamics that appear on, throughout the BMW range and help to produce some of the, the class leading emissions figures and fuel economy figures that we managed to return. Um, and hopefully, if you do want to challenge us on any of that, we'll have a member of my team with every single one of these cars. So if you do have any questions, please do challenge us. Now, without wanting to repeat myself and what Richie said earlier, all of these cars are going to be on the road from Saturday. So even if you're just curious, please do challenge us. Come and have a drive, experience the products. We'd, we'd love to know what you think. Without then, I will let, leave you with the cars. Four Series Convertible, Two Series Coupe. Thank you for your attention.